Werner back inside to Wilfred Zaha. This could lead to something. Zaha brings it inside. Now Sancho, brilliant pass and what a goal from Leicester City. Danny Olmo releases this one for Wilfred Zaha. He takes a great touch. Zaha looks to curl it in. Wilfred Zaha with a sensational goal against AC Milan. And with that, Leicester lead 2-0. So here we are back again with another episode of the Leicester City Career Mode series and this is episode number 36. Today's episode is going to be a big one as we're going to decide our captain for the season. And apart from that, we've got quite possibly one of our most important games of the season in the Premier League against Liverpool at Anfield. So this episode is going to be big for even the Premier League title race. We're also going to be discussing some transfer stuff in today's episode, which should be fun. And if you guys are enjoying the series... Let's keep the support coming in. 2,000 likes once again is the goal for today. And if you are new around here, subscribe for more FIFA 20 career mode content. Shamelessly plugging my Twitch channel once again. I'm going to start streaming live on Twitch very soon, which should be fun. And if you guys are interested in some FIFA live streams, make sure to follow me on Twitch. Links will be in the description below. So it is time for a press conference. And if you guys want to see your comments in the videos, make sure to drop them down in the comment section below first one of the day since the elements is out for the next seven months why don't you use 442 as your formation with timo werner and haaland up top that's actually a very good suggestion but the thing is i don't really enjoy using the 442 formation because in that formation you don't get yourself a cdm and for the way i play i need a cdm to you know be the water carrier of the team to you know win the ball back release it to the attacking players and that's why I want to stick with the 4-1-4-1 formation. This formation allows a lot of freedom for my attacking midfielders in Madison and now Danny Olmo. So it just doesn't make sense bringing in another striker because if we do that, Olmo is going to miss out. And that's something I do not want. Danny Olmo is superb in this game. And this is how we're going to be playing our team in the absence of UDT elements. Now, this question is definitely an important one, and I want you guys to give your opinions down in the comment section below. So, the question is, if you sell Timo Werner, who will you consider signing as a replacement? So, I'm not going to be talking about a replacement now, but the main question I want to ask you guys is whether we should sell Timo Werner or not. He's not showing any signs of growing into a better player. He is stagnating at this 85 overall, and I know last season he was absolutely wonderful for us, but this season... I've got to say, he's been average in seven Premier League games. He's only scored a couple of times, which isn't all that impressive. In fact, Haaland has scored the same amount of goals as Timo Werner so far this season. And yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit of a problem that we've got to find a solution of because we can't go into the latter stages of the season having a striker that isn't delivering. So I'm actually considering selling Timo Werner in the January transfer window and bringing in someone absolutely insane. We'll have a lot of money when we sell Werner and with that we could bring in a world-class striker. And that's why I wanted to ask you guys your opinions on this. Should we sell Timo Werner to fund a ridiculous striker signing in the January transfer window? I'd love to know your thoughts and opinions on this down in the comment section below. It's an important question. We've got time though to discuss this and make a decision because the January transfer window is still a few episodes away. But we've got to start a discussion now and come to a, you know, conclusion very soon. Next question, when will PES 2020 content return to the channel? A question I've been asked so many times in the comments section. Now, for those who remember, last year when PES launched, I did upload a Master League series with Manchester United that a lot of you guys enjoyed. But with FIFA launching just a couple of weeks later, we couldn't finish the series. So I'm actually now considering of bringing back PES content to the channel probably next month. And we might do a Be A Legend series, which is basically PES's version of my player. I think that could be a lot of fun on the channel. So let me know if you guys would be interested in that. Don't worry, it's not going to be replacing any of the FIFA career mode stuff. We're going to still be consistently uploading regular FIFA career mode videos and all that. But this would just be bonus uploads for you guys. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comment section as well. Raphael Varane has ended up winning the player of the episode award and it's completely deserved. Last episode he was just astounding against of course Spurs helped us keep a clean sheet. He was brilliant against AC Milan as well helped us keep a clean sheet in that game and no wonder you guys voted for him as your player of the episode.
So last episode, you guys had to make the decision to decide our captain for the upcoming season and your options were Ben Chilwell and Madison and over 80% of you guys voted for Madison and that's why James Madison is going to be our captain for the upcoming season. Hopefully he can be a leader who leads by example. So really excited to see how captaincy fares James Madison. Here's a quick look at our season objectives, hopefully some more progress in today's episode. Clean sheets in the Premier League would certainly be helpful. Goals from Sancho, Werner and Zaha would be amazing as well. Again, we're doing really well with the English Domination Challenge, so I want to keep that going. So we actually start off the episode with some Champions League football as we play RB Leipzig away from home. So far in this group, we've been extremely dominant. We haven't conceded a single goal in the Champions League so far and I intend to keep it that way. So let's go out there beat RB Leipzig and that should put us in a great spot to finish first in the group. So Chukwese wants to play in this upcoming game against RB Leipzig and I am going to start him in this one. Since we've got Liverpool at the end of the week we've got to rotate the team a bit against RB Leipzig to keep the squad fit and that's exactly what I'll be doing. We're going with a very different Leicester City lineup for this one against RB Leipzig. I've literally completely changed the team around because I want every single player from my first team fit for that one against Liverpool and that's why I'm sacrificing the team for this one against RB Leipzig. But make no mistake, the lineup I've put forward here is still very good. We've got Haaland up top, Chukwese on the right, Harvey Barnes, a very strong and quick defence with Sodibo, Tuansebe, James Justin and Savares. Ian Morgan makes a start as well. Henderson in goal. This is the Leicester side we're putting forward in this Champions League game. Let's go out there and beat them. This is actually a big opportunity for some of the youngsters to, you know, get some Champions League experience under their belt. And I'm really hoping they'll take this opportunity with both hands and, well, deliver in this game. As Chukwese is on the ball, looks for Haaland. Haaland with the shooting opportunity. Zagatu though with the block. Haaland, or oh, turns his man. Look at the strength from Haaland. Another shooting chance for him. Goes for goal and almost scores a ridiculous goal there. The power behind that shot was incredible, but the accuracy was... Uh, just a tad bit off. Imagine if that would have gone in. Here we go now. Dennis Bright on the attack. Looking to bring it forward. Sees Haaland beautifully. And here he goes with pace. Here's Erling Braut. Haaland with a chance to score. And he cannot score that Pavlenka with the save. Haaland had to convert that chance. I don't know how he missed it. Ian Morgan controls it well. Releases Dennis Bright. Looks for Chukwese, big chance for him, should be a goal for Leicester City and Chukwese scores and Leicester make it 1-0 against RB Leipzig. A really calm and composed finish from Chukwese and it was a brilliant pass as well from I think Dennis Bright. I think he got the assist for that goal but Leicester City make it 1-0 away from home against Leipzig. In Morgan did well to find Pride there and then the pass was nice and Chukwese with a calm and composed finish. 1-0 Leicester City. RB Leipzig on the attack. It's a good cross played in. Well defended by Todibo. And what's going on here? It's chaos and come on. How do we concede the most ridiculous and stupid goals in every single episode? Like what even was this? We cleared the ball away. Dean Henderson made a small blunder there. And then the ball just fell perfectly into the path of the RB Leipzig player. Like look at what's going on here. Are you kidding me man? Ah oh, this game. Alan sees Dennis Bright making a good run and this is a big chance for Dennis Bright here with the finesse shot and he's missed. How's he missed from there? Normally those kind of shots go in. That's a big chance wasted. It is now Haaland on the attack, gets past one. That is what you want to see from Haaland. Ah, oh, but the final challenge from Zagadu, he couldn't get that past him. But Ian Morgan wins it. Still Haaland now on the attack, fake shot. Still Haaland, big chance for him and he scores. Let's go guys, Leicester City make it 2-1 against RB Leipzig. It's a fabulous effort from Haaland and this time it results in a goal. Also credit to Ian Morgan for putting pressure, winning the ball back brilliantly, releases it to Haaland, gets an assist as well for that and then Haaland did the rest. Look at that fake shot, gets a bit of a pace boost and then bangs it home with that left foot of his. Leicester lead 2-1. Still another chance here for RB Leipzig. Sabitza whips in a very good cross. James Justin, terrible clearance and Kunku with the chance now. Rodrigo and he's converted. What can you do, man, in this situation? Crosses just keep coming in and when you try and clear the ball away, it literally just always goes to an opposing player. Like, look at this. Perfectly false for Nkunku. I mean, what kind of a game is this, man? And there you go. With that, it's 2 all. This game is one of the most frustrating things to play. Here's Ian Morgan, who's had a brilliant game in this one. Now it's Haaland. Haaland looks for Chukwese. Chukwese, can he keep it in? Just about does so. Still Chukwese. Goes for Hamza Chaudhry, big chance for him, it's blocked. And now it's Dennis Bright. 
He's done him there. Goes for goal and let's go in the 90th minute. Zenith Sprite with possibly the winner as Leicester City make it 3-2 at the dead. What a game of football this has been. So much drama and to win it in the 90th minute is brilliant. And that's full time and we've beaten RB Leipzig away from home 3-2 in possibly the most dramatic of fashions and let's go guys. 9 points out of a possible 9 in the Champions League so far. Haaland was great in this game, so was Chikwese and even Zenith Pride put in a really good show so happy with the performance of our players in this one. Samuel Chikwese is happy because he got game time against RB Leipzig and you know what I'm impressed as well he scored a really lovely goal and I'm hoping he can keep this up he could prove to be a really good super sub for us and also so Yunku wants more game time and tell you what we're definitely going to start him in this upcoming game against Liverpool and I'm hoping he can put in a good performance because as of this moment I think Swansebe has a higher position in the team than him so so Yunku needs to start performing well. Honestly we're in such a great spot in the Champions League at the moment after match day 3 we're at the top of our group with 9 points. We've won every single game so far which is great, a 5 point advantage over Milan. We're definitely looking like the team that are gonna finish first in the group. And now we go back to the Premier League where things get super interesting as well as super difficult as we're up against the Premier League champions of last season, Liverpool. They're probably the favourites to win it this season as well, they've got a 4 point advantage over us and this game at Anfield is practically a must win game for us if we want to fight for the title. As you guys can see, last episode, well, we took a big L to Chelsea. We lost 1-0 to them, which was a tough blow to take. And because of that, this game against Liverpool has become even more important. We need to beat Liverpool at Anfield. Can we do it? Who knows? But we're going to have to try and give our 100% if there's any chance of us getting a result at Anfield. Let's see what happens. James Madison is officially our captain for the first time in this series and he'll be taking the captaincy role against Liverpool at Anfield as well. This is the team that I've gone for. Everyone is practically fully fit for this one. So Sancho, Werner, Zaha, Olmo, Madison and Didi all in the lineup. Varane is back as well at the back. Chilwell, Pereira, Onana as well in goal. It's a very strong Leicester City team and I'm sure they can compete with Liverpool but as it's in Anfield, you never know man. We know Anfield is a scary place to visit but we need to get three points from this fixture. Let's do whatever we can to get it. So that is the Liverpool team that we're facing. We've grown accustomed to facing Mane, Firmino and Salah up top. They've got Wijnaldum, Fabinho as well. Fabinho is a scary one because if I'm not wrong, he was the person who scored against us in that Champions League final last season. So I'm a bit scared playing him again. They've got Van Dijk at the back as well. Trent, Alisson in goal. It's of course a strong Liverpool team as you'd expect. Here we are at Anfield playing Liverpool, a team that beat us last season in the Champions League final. So not good memories facing Liverpool, but at the same time, Liverpool were the team that we beat in the Carabao Cup final last season. We did beat them 4-0 for that trophy. So we've done it before. We can beat Liverpool and we need to do it again here. Look at how aggressive Liverpool are with their pressure. It is just so difficult to play against. But this time we've played through their press and now Timo Werner is running at them. Looks for Madison. It's a decent pass. Madison brings it inside. Goes down. Is that inside the box? No, it is just about outside the box. That is tough. But... As you guys can see, Liverpool play really aggressively, but we've now got a free kick and a chance to make it 1-0. Free kick in a decent spot. Can Madison convert this? Go on, Madison, please. We need a goal from this free kick. It's decent. And no, Alisson with the save. Imagine if that would have gone in. It feels like I say that always when I, you know, just about scored a free kick or basically miss a free kick, but that just shows how close I come to scoring my free kicks, man. Like, that deserved a goal. But here's Madison once again on the attack, looks to curl this one in, Alisson forced to make another save and well, Liverpool cleared it away. We've made a great start to this game so far. Oh, here's Sancho now on the attack, here's Jadon Sancho with the chance to score against Liverpool and Sancho does not miss. Leicester City in the 16th minute have taken the lead and it's Jadon Sancho the man on the score sheet and this could prove to be a huge goal in the Premier League title race as Leicester City lead 1-0 at Anfield. If we can win this game, we'll be just a point off Liverpool in the Premier League table. So this is massive. Timo Werner picking up the assist for this goal but it's Sancho with a beautiful finish past Alisson as we make it 1-0. This goal is massive. Danny Olmo looks for Madison and here we go on the attack once again. Here goes Sancho now. Sancho's been superb in this game. Cut back to Madison. Madison shoots but he drags his shot wide. We cannot be wasting chances like this because you know when you're playing against the likes of Salah, Firmino and Mane, they are going to score at some point but 
We've got to try and take one of our chances, man. Having a two-goal cushion could prove to be vital. Oh, Mo Salah's broken through. It's a chance for Mo Salah. Goes for Mane. And now Sadio Mane with an opportunity. That's brilliant. Tracking back and defending there from Danny Olmo. Oh, here goes Sancho once again. As Leicester City have a chance to potentially make it 2-0 now. Still Jaden Sancho crosses this one for Madison. Who tries to hit it on the volley. Hits it again. But Alisson with a big save there. Sancho has proven to be absolutely incredible in this first half. Let's hope he can keep this up. But we've got to be taking our chances though. Wijnaldum on the ball. Goes for Mo Salah. Cross comes in. So Yunku does incredibly well to defend. I've got to say guys, in this first half, we've defended so well. And I'm hoping we can keep this up. As we might be on the counter-attack once again. And it's that man Sancho again. Running forward with pace. Still Jaden Sancho. But uh, a heavy touch there led to Alisson getting in easily. Half-time against Liverpool and I honestly can't believe how good we've been in this half. We've completely outplayed and outclassed Liverpool in this first half. We've had most of the chances. Defensively, we've been sound. The only objective we've got now is to keep this level up in that second half as well. I can definitely see us beating Liverpool here because we look really, really good. Madison releases Zaha beautifully and this could be another opportunity for us. Here goes Wilfred Zaha. Inside to Timo Werner with a chance to score. Tries to finesse this one in. But Alisson made a very good save once again. Never easy beating Alisson. The guy's a fabulous keeper. I think we need to make some changes to bring on some fresh legs. And that's why I'm bringing on Haaland for, of course, Timo Werner. He's been in great form lately. Let's hope Haaland can help us seal the victory against Liverpool. Oh god, this is not good guys. Trent Alexander-Arnold on the attack. We know he can whip in some great balls. It's good defending from us. Onana just smashes it away. Yes, Trent looks for Mo Salah. This is not good. Salah whips in across. Rafael Varane with a fabulous clearance. I've got to say, man, defensively, we've been so good in this game. And here we go on the attack once again. Here's Jadon Sancho running forward with pace. Could whip in across here. Tries to do so, but that's Virgil van Dijk he's dealing with. Oh, he's gotten past van Dijk, but van Dijk is so good, man. So difficult to get past him. Now Roberto Firmino, Danny Olmo does well, but this could still prove to be a chance here for Liverpool. Here's Mane on the attack. Mane now, Thomas Partey, Onana with a big save and we survive. Liverpool, man, they are just relentless. So difficult to play against. Mane again on the attack. Sadio Mane whips in a great cross. We should get it away. No, Firmino with the header. What's going on here? I cannot play this game, man. I hate this game at times. Every time someone crosses, the clearance goes right back to an opposing player. I just don't understand how do I stop, stop this from happening. Like, what am I supposed to do? Like, are you kidding me, man? Like, every clearance just goes right back to an opposing player. This game just... Uh... Honestly, this draw, it feels like a defeat. It feels like a dagger to the heart because I thought we played incredibly well. We defended so well. We created more chances than them, but... Ultimately, this game is just so bad because every time someone crosses, your defenders just forget what to do and just give it straight back to the attacking players and then, well, they score. Ah, oh, man, I, I don't even know what to say, man. I'm just so angry and annoyed at this game and there you go, we've dropped points and winning the Premier League title is now going to be even harder. And with that draw, we still remain 5th in the Premier League outside the top 4, man. It's, it's so annoying to be in this position. And also, Everton are the only team that remain unbeaten in the competition so far, which is a bit mad. But right now, we are 6 points off the top. Man City cruising in the Premier League at the moment. And well, we've got to try and win as many games possible going forwards now because this is turning out to being a difficult, difficult Premier League title race. Using our second team and simulating this one against Hull City and we absolutely destroy them with James Justin, our right back, scoring a hat-trick. This, this is a bit weird, but anyways, Barnes and Haaland getting on the score sheet as well. Back to more Premier League action. We've got to start going on a winning run in the Premier League, otherwise we're going to have no chance of winning the Premier League title. And if you look at our fixtures, our next four games are relatively easy games. We've got Norwich. We've got, of course, Palace, Southampton and Brighton. We need to win all four of these games and only then we might have a chance of winning the Premier League title. We cannot afford to draw points in games like this. So this is how I've got the team set up against Norwich. We need to get back to winning ways in this one. So last two games in the Premier League, we've lost against Chelsea and we drew against Liverpool. Three points set against Norwich is must. And that's why I've gone with a very strong team. Varane, Olmo, Madison, Sancho, Zaha, all in the lineup. Let's go out there and win. Oh, chance here for Norwich to score an early goal. And what is going on with us, man? 
We're not performing well at all in the Premier League as well. Norwich have taken the lead against us in the 10th minute of this one and we're a goal down. We've got to respond. If we drop points here, our Premier League title hopes are all crushed. Here goes Wilfred Zaha on the attack. Does absolutely brilliantly. Finds Timo Werner. Should be a goal. How is Werner not taking that, man? This is what's happening this season. Our strikers aren't taking their chances, especially Timo Werner. And because of that, we are struggling. Here's Werner. Can he make amends for his miss? He can. Let's go, guys. Only minutes before I was criticizing Timo Werner. But he responds with this. A fabulous finish against Norwich as Leicester make it 1-1. An important goal for us, guys, because... We needed to get this equaliser as soon as possible. Now our job is to try and score as many goals as possible and get the result in the bag. Also, credit to Werner for this finish because it was a banging shot. I mean, look at the power behind that. No chance for the keeper whatsoever and it's 1-1. Norwich with another chance here to create something. This is this tribal guy and well, Onana forced to make a big save there once again. I don't know if I'm facing Norwich or Barcelona because... They seem to be dominating me in a lot of aspects of the game, which is a bit frustrating. It is a corner for Norwich as they look to create something and they probably are going to do so. Ricardo Pereira put in a good last ditch challenge there and that put the Norwich player off balance and we survived that. But how are Norwich playing so well? Can somebody please explain that to me? Looks to release Ben Chilwell and there he goes pushing forward. Here goes Ben Chilwell on the run. Still Ben Chilwell. Brings it inside, looks to release Madison, but the pass was a bit off. If Madison would have just held his run back, rather than just moving forward like a complete idiot, we would have probably scored there. Here's Werner once again, releases Danny Olmo, he's broken through. Let's go guys, Danny Olmo, how? What a last ditch challenge that was from the Norwich defender. Fair play, that saved them a goal there. Looks for Madison, who looks to bring it on that right foot of his, does so brilliantly. Still James Madison should score this and let's go guys, our new captain. James Madison leading by example as Leicester make it 2-1 against Norwich. A fabulous finish that was from, of course, James Madison. The first fake shot, you know, get it on that right foot initially was great. And then the pace and then, of course, the finish. Have a look at that. The Norwich players couldn't get near him. And then the finish as well to beat the keeper was superb. Newcastle on the attack here. Oh, Nana makes a great save once again. He's had a really good game even though we've conceded in this game so far. Ricardo Pereira looks for Jaden Sancho and this could be something for us. Here goes Sancho on the breakthrough. Jaden Sancho 1v1. Can Sancho score? He goes for goal but forces Tim Krul to make a save there. Sancho, I would have loved to see that gone in. On that right foot, still Zaha. Opens up some space, goes for goal and almost scores a sensational goal but just wide. Madison, beautiful pass into Sancho's part. This could lead to something. Sancho with the cutback to Werner. And of course, it's going to be a goal. And that should seal it. Three points for us as we make it 3-1 in the King Power Stadium. Sancho deserves so much credit for that. And also Madison for picking him out. He made it a simple goal for Werner, who was at the right place at the right time. Really happy that Timo Werner gets himself a brace in this one. And with that, Leicester City make it 3-1 against of course Norwich a brilliant performance from us especially in this second half and a comeback as well from us full time against Norwich and we definitely made it a lot harder than it should have been but ultimately three points in the bag and we finally back to winning ways in the Premier League even with that win we still remain fifth in the Premier League which is certainly frustrating six points off the top and four points off Liverpool and also Everton continue to remain unbeaten in the Premier League which is crazy so up next, we've got a Champions League game against RB Leipzig. And since we were doing so well in the competition, I decided to simulate this one. And there you go. We get ourselves a 2-1 win against them. And that means after four games in the Champions League, we've won every single game, which is great. And well, look at this. We've basically secured qualification for the round of 16. The only thing that's left to be decided is whether we finish first in the group or not. But I reckon it's already decided. I cannot see Milan overtaking us now. So we've been superb in the Champions League's group stages this season. Next episode is once again going to prove to be an important episode for us as we've got relatively easier games in the Premier League. But the thing is, we've got to win each one of them. Otherwise, there's going to be a big gap between us, City and of course Liverpool. So 
Next game is huge for us. We've got Champions League action, Newcastle as well in the Carabao Cup quarterfinals, so it should be a fun one. Also, look at this, guys. Timo Werner is finally going up in his overall. This is such a relief. Maybe now we don't have to sell him. This is so nice to see. A lot of his stats going up, dribbling up, short passing up, long shots are going up as well, so he's also now an 86 rated player, which is lovely. Not really the best of episodes for our season goals as we couldn't complete the revenge objective. We had to win every single game against Liverpool this season but we drew against them. We couldn't really keep any clean sheets in this episode and not much progress with the Trident challenge as well but on the other hand Ian Morgan did get a bit of game time in this episode and also the English domination challenge. We're killing it with this one because Ian Morgan got a few assists in this episode and also in a game that we simulated James Justin went and scored a hat-trick so we're actually doing incredibly well with the English domination challenge. Time for you guys to vote for your informed player of the episode and for the first time in this series, a Youth Academy player gets in on the nominations. Ewan Morgan is one of the players nominated, a couple of assists for him in the Premier League and in general, he was really good in that midfield. Your second nominee is going to be James Madison, a solid episode from him once again, leading by example as captain. Those two are your nominees, click the i button on the top right of your screen to vote for either of them. And so that is another episode of the Leicester City career mode wrapped up. Really hope you guys are enjoying the series and if you guys are, a like would be brilliant. If you're watching my content for the very first time, subscribe for more FIFA 20 career mode content and well, I'll catch you guys next time.